Welcome to week five of Art with Mr. Bentley. This week's art lesson will be on paper sculptures. Good morning, artists. Today we are going to make our very own paper sculptures. Take a look at these lessons for some great ideas. This week's featured artist is Elsa Mora. When making art, Elsa loves to use animation, photography, collage, sculpture, and porcelain. The materials that will be needed for this week's art lesson will be pencils, glue, scissors, strips of construction paper, cardboard, or construction paper for the base. Well, Mr. Bentley, what is a sculpture? Hmm. A sculpture is basically the art of making two or 3D forms that look like an object or can be abstract, meaning it doesn't have to look like anything at all. When we think about sculptures, please think about the following. Sculptures can be made of so many different mediums. They can be made from stone, wood, metal, and of course, paper. Turn and talk with a family member. What colors will you use for your own sculpture? How will you fold your strips of construction paper? Well, think about different types of line. Zigzag line, straight lines, curly, or round. Let's get started. Take a look at these pieces for some ideas. Think about how you want to fold, overlap, design, bend, or twist those strips of paper to create your very own sculptures. First, write your name on your paper, pencil first. Next, flip your paper over. Take another piece of construction paper, rip or cut them into long strips. Choose at least three different types of lines and fold your paper. Maybe think about zigzag lines, curly lines, or straight lines. Don't forget to use scissor safety and don't forget to overlap those lines. Make sure, boys and girls, to bend or fold both ends of the paper and glue them down to your paper. So about five when you're gluing them down to make sure that they are securely fastened to your paper. Create your sculpture, boys and girls. Think about folding your paper and filling your paper with so many different types of lines. Don't forget to overlap. Paper sculpture checklist. Did I use at least three different types of lines? Did I overlap some lines? Did I glue down the ends of my paper to my other piece of construction paper? Keep building, boys and girls. Keep creating. Keep designing. This week's titled book is Lines That Wiggle. This is by Caden Switman, illustrations by Steve Wilson. Awesome job, artists. Please feel free to share your artwork with me at any time. Thank you and have a great day.